In this video, I'll show you how to easily create auto numbers for doing requests for admission, production, and interrogatories. This could apply to anything, but for those of you in the legal field, I think you'll find it particularly helpful. Let's look at how it used to be. You probably copied and pasted to get this in, but in this illustration, I'm doing it by hand. At our law firm, we bold the heading and leave the body text unbolded. As many of you know, when selecting text in Word, unless you select it perfectly, you'll end up bolding that which you don't mean to. So you type it out first, and then you can select more perfectly. We'll manually adjust the numbers and keep track of separate lists, and we'll probably often have to scroll up to see what the last RFP or RFA number you used was. When you delete or move a section, you have to manually renumber and then recheck everything at the end. I'm going to show you how to automate the process so you only have to enter three letters to get a perfectly numbered list. To get it set up, we're going to use a field called SEQ, or Sequence, and save three auto text entries. To start, enter your text as you'll want it to appear. I'm starting with Request for Production. When I get to the spot for the number, I go to Quick Parts, I click Fields, Find Sequence in the list. Sequence uses identifiers to keep track of separate lists. I'll name this one RFP. Then select Options, choose your numbering format, and click Add to Field. Then go to Field Specific Switches, the tab, and choose Backslash N, which tells it to increase the number by one. Click OK twice, and you'll have your number in your document. Complete the rest of the text, which for me this time means a colon and a space. Now we'll save this as an auto text entry in our building blocks file. Carefully select the text you want to save, including the space at the end, but not the new paragraph marker. Then on the insert ribbon, choose quick parts, auto text, and save selection to auto text gallery. Type RFP in the name, give it a description if you want to, and save it in your building blocks file. Click OK, and now it's ready. And if you missed that, don't worry, I'm about to show you two more times. You want to repeat this for any other custom auto text entries you want to use. Remember, when you go into the sequence field, change the identifier for each separately, separately numbered list you'll have. In this case, I'm using RFA. Again, you add the number to field, add the backslash N, click OK, click OK again, and then save it as an auto text. Now, as I go to test the field, 
you notice that my RFP line has its text in bold. That was my mistake. I didn't select the space and paragraph when I unbolded it originally. That's okay though. Just make the required changes and go to save it as a new auto text entry. As long as you give it the same name as the faulty one, it will be replaced. It'll ask if you want to redefine the building block entry, click yes, and now it's replaced. Now let me show you how you'll use these auto text entries. It's really simple and a huge lifesaver. To enter one of these entries, you'll just type in the first three letters from the auto text and press F3 on your keyboard. In this case, we've named them RFP, RFA, and ROG. Therefore, ROG F3 inserts interrogatory number one, and my cursor is automatically placed where it needs to be for me to start, ty start typing. RFP F3 creates requests for production. As I continue to use these auto texts, the numbers increase per list on their own. The cursor is where I need it and the text is unbold. Need to, need to delete one? No problem. You'll see it doesn't automatically update the numbers, but selecting everything and pressing F9 updates all the fields. Watch as I move these all around and get them completely out of order. Pressing F9 updates the list, puts everything back in order. Control A selects all, F9 updates. Thanks for watching. Check out our law blog at remedialactionlawblog.com.